Hello, everybody. It's me, Miss Foot Fixer, and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to talk about that little tiny nail with a little tiny hole in them, and why I did what I did. Because there's so many comments in the video, I would like to tell you. The, the reason behind what I did. So this patient is from the States and he was on holiday. He was on holiday. He was, I think, like two or three days in and he developed a uh, paranychia with pus underneath his nail. So I gave him many options. One is that we can cut it back, drain it, and then dress it. Secondary, we can also perform nail surgery, remove the nail, and that will release the pus. Uh, in the end of the day, because he was on holiday and he didn't want to have uh, a minor operation um, in a foreign country, he decided to drain it. And for him, he's a doctor himself. He's a doctor in the States. So he kind of knew what he wanted. And we both agreed that probably for his situation, it was the best treatment. So there's many, many ways of, of draining a nail. You can drill a little uh, hole in the middle of the toe, make a little tiny hole, and then take the pus out. You can do what I did, <clears throat> which was cut into the nail, try to find out where the, the pus pocket is, and release it. Once you release the pus pocket and drain it, because obviously it contains loads and loads of bacteria, loads and loads of germs that can obviously spread the infection. Once you release it, the, the pain instantly kind of reduces. You're going to get a little bit of pain, but it instant relief of pressure from that perinicia and kind of subbungal uh, extrudate that's trapped inside. And the main thing afterwards is to dress it accordingly. You don't need to necessarily soak your feet in warm salt water to release any more exudate because I've, I've you know, I've done it. <clears throat> Another thing is to prescribe some antibiotics, especially when somebody's traveling for long periods of time and, you know, and they, they want to function. There's, a, there's increased risk of trauma to the foot, then obviously increased risk of infection. Just because there is perinicia doesn't always necessarily mean that you need antibiotics. I remember one of uh, my podiatrist lecturer said to me, if you have a sit that has a pus, you don't always need antibiotics. That is very, very true. So you look for other signs of infection, kind of redness, swelling, uh, pain that is still there with taking painkillers, uh, fever, um, pus and things like that. But in this case, it was infected. So I gave this patient a bit of antibiotics. Another thing is you may notice that that toe is a little bit thick and yellow. I suspect that there is a fungal nail infection. So there's fungal nail infection potentially with obviously a secondary infection. Not sure what is causing what, maybe the walking, irritating the footwear causing the perinicia, but the fungal nail infection can can also lead to a secondary infection like cellulitis. And in my career, I've seen many, many cases of it. One person was in Mauritius and he was in ICU for a couple of months because of his fungal nail infection. So really a fungal infection is not a cosmetic problem. It's really a medical problem that needs to be treated because it can make you very, very sick. Well, I hope you guys like my video about why I did certain things and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day.